Hey there, guys and girls, MJ from Reacting here, and we are back on Tina, our Let's Play of Victoria 2 Ultimate Mod as the Holy Roman Empire, and yeah, we are continuing with our conquest against the Kringa. We are just waiting for our infamy to drop so we can get our consciousness lowered because at the moment it is increasing and we rarely need it down. Uh, if we go and we look at the rebels, we can definitely see some movements here. Yugoslavia, the campaign for censored press, suffrage move, suffrage movement. I'm a bit worried about unless we go and we look here. It's not very much, except for the Moroccan nationalists. That that's a bit like worrisome there. But in terms of everything else, it shouldn't be a worry at all. Uh, we don't have any revolutionaries rising up yet. No commies or liberals. So that's good. As long as we can maintain our monarchy, I can. Uh, switch around. Oh, let's see. If we go and we look here, liberals, it's anti military. That, that comes. Our supply consumption is reduced. And if I think if we reduce our supply consumption, I think that ends up making it cheaper to field troops. Uh, but our organization is regenerates, decreased. Our reinforce is decreased. Maximum military spending is lowered. Our castability acquisition speed is lowered. And our mobilization impact, I think, is lowered. See, so that doesn't seem so hard. It, it still does allow us to field our military as you want it does. I think it does make it cheaper for us to field it. We can't go, of course, keep on spending on the military as much. So we won't be able to gain our people faster. Um, I think this is more. this is more like a passive passive military it's not like a, oh yes we on the go well we on the go but we're not really going and attacking larger nations um if i do do that we're gonna hit straight away 10 militancy and that's something that i don't want that should surely spark let's go check rh oh let me go check milit jingoism supply consumption does make it more expensive we do regen our troops a lot faster um huge mobilization impact yeah, it's the same there. Um, let's let's compare the difference. Protectionisms, of course, that's just in terms of tariffs. Uh, factory input decrease. That can be very good. Uh, but we aren't in the Industrial Revolution just yet. Laissez-faire, plus 50% tax. We do get limited on our tax, but we don't really tax our people that much anyway. Probably the biggest thing would be in terms of tariffs. Factory ownership costs. That's only 30% uh, more compared to state capitalism 60 percent so it would make it definitely cheaper to, for the um factory owners to go and open up their stuff factory output 25 percent okay so it is it's 25 percent um we can't go build any factories i'm not really looking for us to go and build essentially the capitalists will then go and manage the economy um investors can build railways so that that seems pretty good at the moment state capitalism let's see research points we do get that minimum tax we can it gets increased um other than that it's that's it's just very expensive we do get more control of the economy though but we're not focusing more in the economy i think i do want to go for more of a passive military because i'm not going all out just yet and this is what's nice uh having control being a monarchy i can go and select between these parties um Pluralism decrease. Oh no, that should help. That should definitely help. Moralism decrease consciousness. Militancy. So if we we can go and get our uh, militancy decrease, which we do need at the moment. Limited citizenry and yeah, I I do think that's a thing that we should go for. Decrease. Yeah, that should straight away put a block on that. So that's strange. Okay, that that's definitely strange. Uh, appointed. Ah, oh, sadly, it's not ruling party only. Then we could have even more control. But yeah, that decreased our militancy. So that did look like it was really good. Uh, anything else? Should decrease it want greatly. Okay. Well, if that's good, then that's good for me. It should make it more profitable, definitely, for these people to start making the profit, except for them. Like, there's no more subsidies now. At least now that's only going to make profitable factories available. And so workers will essentially get paid more. I just need socialist reforms in place to go and help me out. Uh, definitely, we start making more money. Ah, see, this is... Ah, oh, flip, no. Um, 
this is where it starts taking its toll is tariffs that's where my money comes from and i can't tax people in anymore so i'll probably have to lower education not such of a big hit yet not the industrial revolution uh, administration we can also lower that as well to 75 percent um still not how we, we have a ton of money stored up it's chilled um oh that actually went and helped out quite a lot there okay that's good um and if the capitalists deem it necessary to start getting workers they can do it let the ai manage the economy so that's how i'm going to i need to send my troops back off that land and off across okay and send them off and get this guy back into a port where i need oh, i gotta push him down on close province there and as soon as it gets off i can send them back to a port where's the port um i was making that there so that's good there um how's it looking when it comes in terms of our diplomacy justificate did, did we have it justify war oh, oh sorry i was busy waiting for my infamy to drop uh consolidate our military troops that has been rebuilt military costs they are expensive at least military costs aren't military spending isn't tied with our actual troop amount it's tied with the uh, total amount of troops that we can field uh non-active military plus active military national stockpiles that that's where it comes in i think we can go and lower it we just gotta have yeah i'll lose that we just gotta make sure that no rebels will come we could definitely go and lower that and to 33 percent essentially uh saxon nationalists I, I think it i think we can go and lower our budget in terms of that it won't be much though yeah meh. oh wait shoot house be yeah we still i can't believe we're still encouraging that oh it's closer it's closer i'll just wait till more technologies comes out okay now it's just the wait for the infamy to go and drop uh minus one every month so 30 months two years lover exposes scandal slander that upsets the liberals free press no we don't want free press that's something that you definitely don't want our people will go and move there um the asian ones over there um if we can go we can go check in terms of the military decrease that um it's coming along good it's definitely coming along good oh it's probably due to uh stockpile purchases uh yeah it's probably here in the stock national stockpile overseas maintenance we're not paying much for that yeah we can have a decrease in two um yeah, there we go. We got some Saxon re rebels. Uh, yeah, our guys should go sort them out. Not a big problem at all. And they'll return to back where they were. Uh, Montenegro is having a bit of problems there. Okay. Uh, are we not really looking for conflicts at the moment? I could go and start pushing. Now. I think at 10 infamy, I'm going to push into start pushing in my war goal for them my justification my castle belly to go and attack them and then by the time that my infamy drops to zero it should be at the time uh, that we will be able to go and attack them uh, with lowered infamy colonial dispute does not compromise uh again that's oh jingo support that's definitely something that we are going to do that's going to help a lot in terms of taking the queen high lands and then further all, all around them. It's, it's always good to have Jingo support. I see no, not like disability debuff. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys get my drift uh, through them. Uh, is there any more research that we can get? No, none. An army. The navy's good. All good. All good. All good. Uh, revolutionary ideas. Oh, I'm not like that. Democracy. It's the worst. In game. I'm gonna make that clear. In game. Somebody might slaughter me for uh, falsifying my ideas. Oh, check. We can actually go and move guys out of Tibet. There we go. That's good. It will be nice. As soon as we got Asia under control, I think everything would be good. Oh, Bihar actually broke free. Um, I think that broke free from the British. Wait, let, let's go check. Population density. It broke free from the British. Good absolutely good that means that i can go and take baha without having to worry that's definitely good that's very good wait is that there that little place there that's part of the ottoman empire um let's go back to population density nope 
not a problem. If I just secure those promises with the high density, it's it's gonna be all good because that's where all the real money is made. Um, yeah, and then I'll move on to there. See, we still got a while until the technology, excuse me, come out for the better life ratings. Yeah, we'll take that again. We get we get many troops locked and loaded and prepared to take on Queen High. Okay, it's it's gonna be close. Flip, we actually lose money fairly quickly. Okay, well, bit of a problem there. As long as our administration costs don't increase. I think it was, it was such a problem in terms of taking the Heavenly Kingdom because they actually had the ability to field a large army. I don't think the Queen High are that like military heavy. So I don't think that's going to boost our military spending at all. Uh, liberals, let's see. So we do have quite a partitioned government there. Uh, poor Strata. I wish we could go and put through some socialist ideas. Oh, sorry guys, bump my mic. Uh, lazy ideas or lazy to learn, sorry. Um, Imperial Reactionaries. Is that it? Just Imperial Reactionaries. Um, we don't have any puppets. I don't know. Having Imperial Reactionaries could cause quite a bit of problems. Uh, still can't go and put these through. If I wanted to put through a minimum wage. Suffrage movement radicalism. 24% um, of the upper house. Vote yes. Uh, vote no. Reactionaries, of course, they vote no. The liberals. So it doesn't really make a difference. 30%, 30%. So there's... 24% uh, we just need 50% so it doesn't look like it's gonna happen anytime soon unless my militancy were to like increase uh, hugely but I don't think that goes and affects the social reforms any of the political ones he was drinking out last night okay um, our forces are yeah it's gonna be beautiful we're gonna have such a top military force that actually decreased a lot um, soldiers and army Capital ships. So actually our capital ships don't actually go and boost it up quite a lot. It's just soldiers and the army. That's actually not so bad. Um, that's good. But I wonder why it dropped so much though. Oh, oh, possibly due to our military spending. Maybe that's what happened. He was out drinking out last night again. Okay, yeah, I should put through my... Uh, well, start the castle belly. I uh, was at... Uh, protect... Um... Okay, Lithuania, we might have to go to war against you. Possibly. Europe, we're going to have to rearm problems. Not liking it at all. Um, I could go, I, I should actually go Russia. Russia could go and help me here. Russia, I'm good with, yes, that's good, that's good, that's good. Um, France, Britain. You... You serious? You guys have no military whatsoever. Ottomans, my good... Nah, flip, you guys are useless as well. Um, my military forces, it's rubbish. In terms of facing... Well, in terms of Europe, it's rubbish. In Asia, it's beautiful. That, that, that is the colonial army. That should actually be a name. I should name them that. It would make it a lot easier to go and manage them as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to move my forces there. Oh, flip. Oh, no, I'm not liking that at all. Our troops are being built. Maybe we'll have to stave off of going to war just yet until we do increase our military in Europe. Maybe it'll just be like a hold them off type of game. Um, game, sorry, war. Um, and see where we can go off of there. I'll start. I'll get my cars belly against them. Uh, demand concession and we'll put that through. Okay. Um, our force is there, I think. We could take them in a hole if we move all our forces along their border. Yeah, we, we could, we could, we definitely could. Just need to put them all along the border then. Okay. We could totally consume them. I just, I don't want Poland, Lithuania to declare. So it's a gamble. It's a gamble. That's essentially it. We will have to call in our allies. So Russia, I hope that Russia will come and help me out. Uh, possibly Britain. Brit could Britain 
off. I hate you, Britain. I hate you. Um, possibly Britain. We could ask to bring in there the second in terms of strength. Allied with, they might go and try and claim, so I'd have to be the war leader, and I would be. Form an alliance, why would that not accept? Well, screw you too. Um, our forces are, they're coming along. It's good, it's good. So we could possibly face off. The military, it doesn't, it's actually, it's not looking so strong. Russia seems to be rebuilding their military. They know there's going to be some conflict soon. That's right. Russia's my friend. Russia's my friend. Our succession, there's only three provinces. Oh, well, okay then. Well, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I certainly did. Um, I think we got a lot done this episode. Uh, nevertheless, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching and peace out.